Navigating Class Diagrams, Understanding Structure. In part three, we saw how to create class diagrams and assemble related classes. Now we need to be able to find our way around class diagrams. There are two mouse modes. The default is the point and click mode, as indicated by the presence of the arrow cursor, and the other lets you drag the canvas and is indicated by the hand cursor. Select the hand tool on the toolbar. Now you can drag the canvas in any direction you like, but there is also a shortcut for hand scrolling. First, go back to the point and click mode. While holding down the Alt key, drag the canvas, and that's it. It just saves having to change mode every time. You can zoom in and out using the buttons on the toolbar or use the plus and minus keys, but you can also use the mouse wheel if you hold down the control key. Notice that the level of detail displayed varies by zoom. The idea is that you can still read the class names even when you are zoomed out quite far. You can also pick a region to zoom into. Click the drag to zoom in button then drag out a region on the canvas. A brown box indicates the region you will be zooming into when you let go of the mouse button. And there's a shortcut for this also. While holding down the shift key, start dragging. Again, the brown box will appear and the class diagram will zoom in. You can also zoom out to display the whole contents. On the toolbar, click the zoom to fit button. This zooms out so that you can see everything. You can also press the W key. You can also zoom in fully to any one class. Right click on the class title and select zoom into. Another handy way of browsing a class diagram is to view each class in turn. Press the right arrow key. This starts an iteration through the class's members. Left and right keys change class, up and down keys change member. You can also navigate along lines. Right click on a line. From the context menu select go to head. You can also select show whole line. The zoom then changes to make the whole line visible. Agile J also includes an overview. Right click on empty class diagram canvas to open the overview. In the overview, a pink box shows the visible region. You can navigate by changing the visible region. Just drag the pink box. Finally, you can locate any text on a class diagram using the incremental find. Press Ctrl F and begin typing. As you type, matching text is highlighted in green. However you choose to navigate, it's also worth mentioning that you can retrace your steps with the Eclipse history. You can also get a quick view of any class or member at full magnification just by hovering the mouse. And to find out the qualified name of any class or reference, just zoom in and hover the mouse. So there are plenty of ways to navigate around which make even quite large class diagrams fairly manageable. There's a list to help you keep track of all the class diagrams you have made. Right click on empty canvas and select open Agile J index. So now we're fully versant with all the different ways of putting class diagrams together and finding our way around. Let's drill down deeper into what they're telling us and how we can put them to work. See you in part five.